All right, do you see all these new sprouts? I didn't know it was growing in my plant. I thought it could be weeds, but then again, it looked a little foreign. Then I asked Jaira and she said it came from my seasonings that was on the kitchen counter and they dumped them in my plant. So now I have seasonings, so I mean, that could be a good thing. Anyways, today I'm gonna be taking Micah for his first day of swim class. So I'm gonna get him ready and we're gonna head out. Ready for your first day of swim class? Yes! Um, through the charter school that we're with, we get these opportunities to take piano lessons, dance lessons, music lessons, and in this case, swim lessons. So this is a great opportunity to have someone teach Micah. So when we do go swimming, he can just go off and swim. Put that yai button boom my up to see our video and do on YouTube. Did you say bye to the teacher? All right. That was just the first day, and then we're gonna do more. I know, it, it went by quick, didn't it? Yeah. To do more swimming? Yeah. I'm sorry. Were you listening to your teacher? Were you? Or were you trying to do your own thing? Do you just enjoy swimming? Yeah. I mean, I guess when you're having so much fun, time goes by really quick. But we're gonna go back home and get some school stuff done and see what the rest of the kids are doing. I think he had a great time. He had such a great time, he doesn't even want to leave. Right, Micah? What? Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, Micah. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a question, okay? What? Okay. What happened two days ago? You want to tell them what happened two days ago? <laughs> They're missing! You lost how many? Two. Can you tell me the story of how it happened? You do pull it out and you pull it out. I pulled both of them out? Yep. At a dang day! The same day. Actually, they're two days apart. Yeah. Jaira came upstairs with Micah and she's like, his tooth is loose, like really loose. And I was like, what? No way! And so we checked it and he was just like, I was like, maybe we'll wait another couple days and wait until it falls out. And he's like, no, I want it out now. We're all watching. Oh my God! <clears throat> Let me see. There it is. Look how loose that thing is. It looks ready, Micah. Are you ready? Okay, you just open your mouth very wide. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And we all, not Micah, but we all yeah. count to three. Okay, Micah, how old are you one more time? Five years five. old? You're five? Yeah. Let me look at yeah, it. Open your mouth more. Yeah. Tell me when. Okay, so Jaira's gonna count to three. Okay. I, I can't do it. Just do it. I don't want 
Okay, I'll do it. Okay. One, two, three. Wait. I heard it. I heard it, Micah. Oh my god, I feel it. It's gone. All right, Micah, how does it feel to not have a Din. tooth there? Din. Did you see his tooth? It's gone. No. No? Look, look in his mouth. Let's see it gone. Take your, take it out. <laughs> I can't. Let me see. Look at me go, cheese. It's gone. <laughs> Too fun. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. It's normal. He was a little freaked out that there was some blood in his mouth, um, but I think he did pretty good for the first time pulling out his tooth. Then, again, the next day, he comes up and he's like, my tooth hurts really bad. And I'm like, what, another tooth? Right next to their tooth, it was super loose. And I was like, okay, we'll wait another couple days and let it get more loose and then maybe it'll fall out. He's like, no, no, keep your mouth open. Open your mouth. Okay, one, two. Okay, put your mouth on it. <laughs> he did a lot better the second time around because I think he was a little bit more prepared for how it felt and that we got um, napkins right away so that he didn't taste the blood. So I think he did pretty good overall. Growing up, my dad would pull out all of our teeth. It was either you tied on the end of a doorknob and you slam the door, or you just like pull it with floss. So we've actually done some fun things with pulling teeth with Sophia. Um, we tied it to the end of a drone and that was kind of exciting to do it that way. You ready for this, V? Yeah. Now we need to tie it to the drone. Oh wow, that's pretty far. Do you have any final last words? I'm what? kinda nervous. You are? <laughs> you know what? Jaira always cries before I take her tooth out. <laughs> Tell me when. Oh. Open your mouth. Oh! You took it out! No, you didn't. <laughs> So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly straight that way. Okay. Are you ready, Sophia? <laughs> you gotta open your mouth, okay? There you go. There we go. Three. I got it. it Let me see. I didn't cry. No, you didn't. You just stood there. Oh, let's go see if we can find your teeth. Come on. I feel like uh, the guy in Honey Shrunk the Kids. Should we pull your teeth out? No. Okay. Was it your first tooth you lost? You swallowed? Oh, yeah. I've swallowed yeah. a ton of teeth. I remember I was eating a hamburger and I swallowed it and then when we're going home um, you're like Sophia where's your tooth? <laughs> <laughs> I know the tooth that you lost with the drone we couldn't even find either. Yeah I remember. So you probably haven't seen any of your teeth. Nope. And I have I two now two. Yeah. Two build the one. So are you going to lose more teeth? All right, we have some fan mail. Do you guys want to open it up? Hey, yes. yes. Okay, from the Zero to Five family. Well, that's crazy. Happy uh, 2021, finally. K and A crew family. All right. Yeah, open it. I help. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful, just in case. What? Nothing. What? What? Is a whale? Whoa. Look at all of Look, these. Oh my gosh. What? You can't take all that candy? I can't take two. Hey. I take two. Let's be here. We heart attacked you. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, that's so cool. I that love is it. cool. Okay, now we need to get this place cleaned up. 
We have an appraiser coming to look at our house. I will be taking the kids to the park and Mike will be here to show off the house. Thank you guys for always <laughs> sending us stuff. We love hearing from you. It's really nice to see. You guys see us all the time, but it's really nice to hear from you guys when you send us stuff and it's really sweet. We love everything and we enjoy reading all your letters. Um, and the kids actually enjoy, you know, seeing the other <laughs> side and who's watching us and what you guys always say. Hey, what are you guys doing? This week is really busy. We are refinancing our home. We're in the process of it and we're having an appraiser come out here. So all we've been doing is just cleaning up a bunch of stuff and we got the garage all ready. Savannah's actually gone right now because the appraiser's coming and she said she wants nothing to do with this. <laughs> so she took all five kids. It's just Liddy and I here today, right? Oh yeah. We're just here. And since Savannah is not here right now, I get to have a second to praise her a little bit because she has been working extremely hard. She has been taking care of the kids. She just does everything. You guys, all you mothers out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it does not go unappreciated. And us husbands, when we see that, it is just like, it's very humbling because we really don't have much to complain about. And I just wanna share a little something with you guys. And it comes from Proverbs 31, and I know that is just a very, uh, you know, famous part of the Bible, but um, I just really think these, these verses just describe Savannah and she's not gonna like that I'm doing this, so you guys can kind of uh, enjoy this with me. <laughs> but Proverbs 31, starting in verse 10, says, a truly good wife is the most precious treasure a man can find. She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good, and not harm all the days of her life. She rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household. Strength and dignity are her clothing and she laughs at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well in the way of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her saying, many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. That is exactly what I'm doing right now. I am praising my wife in public all over YouTube um, for just the amazing, hardworking, loving wife and mother she is. So, Savannah, I love you. Um, 